here at our beloved school, Walnut Hill. I'm Tyler. And I'm Kelsey, and we are trying to hide from the flu. So, what do you mean by everyone who is still here? Well, the flu's taken over many staff and students, so I don't know how many of our students would still be here watching our announcements. There must be a few left over, so let's continue. That's a good idea. What a positive thought. So, in a little bit, we're going to have an interview with Mrs. Farsi. That's great. She's an awesome teacher. For sure. Until then, here's Aspen with the weather. Aspen. Hi! Today is a high of 16 and sunny. Wear your hats, gloves, scarf, snow pants, coat. In other words, bundle up! It is going to be cold. I am lucky I am not outside. Bye, Mom! Thanks, Aspen. It really is cold out there. Did you know it was 21 degrees with a wind chill a couple of days ago? Wow, I guess I should actually bring my coat and mittens out with me when I go to recess. That's not a bad idea. And here's another good idea. Let's see what strange facts Nate has with us today. Hi, Walnut Phyllis. I just have one set of facts today, and it's about headlights. This spider is creeping me out. I hope it doesn't have any headlights. I hope it doesn't have the flu. First of all, they're, it's hard to get rid of. And they're hard to get rid of. High heat would solve the problem, but you can't stick your head in boiling water, so that won't help at all. You will need to use special shampoo with per permethrin in it. Next, lice like, likes to lay eggs, so you will need an adult with good eyes and tweezers to pull out the nits or lice eggs. And then wash everything that might have lice eggs on it, like blankets, pillows, jackets, etc 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 they can live for two days without food back to you thank you nate well that was disgusting right we better move on to something better how about someone better oh then it must be time for our interview with mrs firestein sorry in advance for the shaky camera we had some technical difficulties good morning walnut hills I'm Nathan. I'm Aspen. And I'm Mrs. Firestein. We're here to interview Mrs. Firestein. Okay, how long have you been teaching in Walnut Hills? Um, about 25 years. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, it is. I've been wondering, do you like history the most? I love history. Yes, it's my favorite subject. How did you know that? <laughs> because, you know, you were our history teacher. I did so. teach social studies to you guys, didn't uh -huh. I? Yeah. Um, well, what grades do you teach? Uh, just third, but third's pretty special. Uh-huh. Um, do you like Michigan? Or Michigan State? Uh, Michigan State. Uh, have you traveled around, around the U.S.? I have. Um, do you know what places you have gone? Yeah, I really like going out west. Like okay. Arizona, California, Nevada, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. So, what college did you go to? Um, I went just right in Grand Rapids, Grand Valley State College. Um, how, how many kids do you think are in your class? Right now, I have 23. Wow. That, we have 32, Mr. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, your teachers have got their hands full. I know. So, where were you born? Um, in Ionia. Well, actually, I was born in Grand Rapids, but I grew up in Ionia. Mm -hmm. Um, what subject do you think the kids like the most? Most kids, you know, I think probably as overall, most kids like reading the most because we do so much AR reading in the school. So many points are being made every day by kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when you were a kid, did you want to be a teacher? Um, I did want to be a teacher, and I didn't realize really until I was in eighth grade. And I started making my brothers and sisters listen to me. I started trying to teach my younger brother, especially my cousins and stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 
and even the dog and cat. In eighth grade, you must have really wanted to be a teacher. I do. <clears throat> um, do you like teaching other classes too? Um, I do. I, I really like all the classes in third grade. All the subjects are fun to teach. Well, it was fun interview interviewing you. Thank you. Wait, actually, I still got another or a couple of questions. Sure. Um, you've been teaching in Indian Reservation, right? I did. Yes. Yeah. Um, how long have you been teaching there? Um, I taught three years with the Chippewa in North Dakota and one year with the Navajo in New Mexico. Hmm. Yeah, fun. It was a lot of fun. The kids were good. Um, did you like teaching there? I, I did a lot. I learned a lot from the kids. I learned a lot about nature from the kids. Hmm. They taught me a lot about wow. animals and plants. And you still have that big bone that you showed? I do. A huge you? big buffalo bone that I give out, get out every year. I, I didn't give it up. Yeah. Get it ash. out this year. And ash. ash yeah. It's right, the volcano uh -huh. ash. That's a little bone. Mm -hmm. um, that's like, uh, that's about all the time we have, so okay. Fun interviewing um, you. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Thanks for that nice interview. That's all the time we have for today. So stay healthy, Wanna Hills. Bye. Peace out, guys.